Yeah, it's a new uh, new chapter in my uh, cycling life. So uh, yeah, with a new team, new guys around me. Um, yeah, everything is new, and yeah, we take immediately the the victory in the in the first race. So that's really nice. Here comes Grunewege, still going, still going, and Grunewege takes it. First victory of the season, and with his new colours too. When Dylan Grunewegen won back-to-back -back stages of the 2018 Tour de France at the age of 24, sprinting had found its newest star. 16 more wins, including another in France the following year, back that up. Before suddenly, the Dutchman's star fell dramatically back to earth. Banned from racing for nine months, it would be almost a year before Hoenewegen would return to the top step of the podium. But despite two wins at the Tour of Wallonie, Hoenewegen would leave Jumbo Visma before the end of 2021. Yeah, the signing of Dylan was uh, was probably one of the most exciting signings of uh, of the year. Um, came late in the season, it came quickly. Uh, it's, it's it's a signing that that we've been looking for 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 a number of, of years now. Back at Chains, have have a lot of guys who can help me in the sprint train. A lot of strong guys. This team's always been a team that's had a lot of riders that are able to support um, a sprint train, and Dylan was was more than happy with the riders that we had on board. The signing of a pure sprinter must surely mean a change in focus for a team that has chased general classification in recent years. If you bring on the fastest man in the world, or one of the fastest men in the world, it does to a certain extent. But um, you know, at the same time, we also lost uh, one of the Yates brothers, Adam, to, to another team last year. So having just Simon on board and uh, with other riders that are up and coming, and gaining experience for future GC uh, rides, um, it rounded off our team perfectly. And now we can go to one of the Grand Tours and not concentrate on the GC because we've got a pure sprinter. So um, to a certain extent, it does actually take off pressure um, for the rest of the team. Grunewegen has taken some pressure off himself and the team with early season wins. I did a perf perfect lead out. Um, I was just sprinting 400 meters, so that was really short, but yeah, it was a really great lead out. Yeah, I learned a lot from the first day, um, also from the third day, but we take the victory, so that was really nice. But we have to learn and uh, to line up the, the sprint train, but as a sprinter, you want to win so, so much as possible. Um, yeah, that's why I'm here in this team, to, to win so much as possible. Also for myself, um, but also for, for the team. Of course, the Tour de France is a big goal. And having won there before is not just any stage of the tour that he has his sights set on. Being winning the Champs Elysees, um, yeah, it's the World Championship for, for a sprinter, I think. Oh, Grunewagen beats Greipel at the line! What a stunning performance that was! Yeah, the biggest race in the world, and yeah, it's an amazing feeling.